ever used a block quote widget in Elementor? Let's just drag it over. It's quite common. I see it on websites when people are um, describing like a quote or a phrase or just something like that on their website. And the most commonly used um, a version is where we pick the quotation over here. By the way, you do have border, you got boxed as well, you got clean like that, but you also have quotation and you can take off the tweet action. Now, the reason for the video is because of that quote that we have over there. If you try and change this, you go to content, you can do the author, you can do the content over here. If I go to typography and I was to say pick something like, I don't know, let's just go for something like that, okay? It doesn't touch the quote. If I now scroll down to the quote over here, we can modify the color, right? And the size of it and the gap of it or whatever, but that's about it. But with some simple CSS, we can now adapt and modify what that quote looks like. So I'm gonna go over here to advanced. We're gonna to go to custom CSS. And I'm going to drop this quote in here. You can instantly see it's changed. And the reason it's changed is because I've already put Vedana in here. Uh, ignore this content P. I'll come back onto that in a moment. So if I was to go over here and type in Ariel like that, that's now changed it to Ariel. Do you remember what it looked like before? Let me just take this out. Okay, this is what the original quote looks like. Almost like a Times New It is Times New, New Roman, I think. You do that, we now get a bit more of a slanted style. If I was to go back to Vedana like that, we get that kind of style. So we can now modify the style of our quotes with this little bit of code. It will be in the description, so don't worry about that. But we do have this other feature as well. If I take out the hyphens here, we now have a capital P, um, which you might want to utilize if you're going to do certain types of styling or wording. So I'm going to change this to be a L like that. I'm going to go over to my content. I'm going to get rid of the L over here. I've got rid of the L. And then in front of the O of lorem, I'm just going to add in the angled brackets for the P. Do the same, sorry, for the end as well there. So everything is in P. And then before the, well, before the O in the orum bit, I'm then going to do and NBSP. And I'm just going to copy that. And I'm just going to put it in a few times more like that. That. So what I've now done is moved it along. I think I can get rid of one of them. Let's just get rid of one of them there. Uh, yeah, I think that's a bit better. I'm then going to go to style and where we have the quote and we had the gap option, I can now drop it like that. So now I've now got like a, a big letter. You could, of course, do this in text editor as well. I'm just showing you how you could use the block quote. But the key bit was, to be honest, if we just go back over here to the CSS bit, it was over here. So by we can now change the font family of the quote. I hope that helps. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll see you soon.